What's an American issue you are too European to understand? Obligatory I am an American but work remotely for a European country. My European colleagues cannot wrap their heads around the fact that I, most Americans, do not have employment contracts. Recently I had a conversation with a colleague and I could see her visibly glitch after she made a comment about something being in my employment contract and I told her that I don't have one. Edit. This kind of blew up overnight, for me, let me explain a bit. I was originally hired by our US office. I interviewed and was eventually offered the job verbally. The company then sent me an offer letter that outlined starting salary, number of vacation days, 10 days, another thing that surprised my EU colleagues, and basic benefits. We negotiated, finalized numbers, salary, and I got a revised letter. Through a number of circumstances I was transferred to our home office in Europe. My manager is there, my team is there, etc., and I work remotely from the US. Over the years I've negotiated raises and more vacation time through my managers and our CEO but don't have a contract. The offer letter is not a contract. In the US, most of us are employees at will which means that we can be terminated at any time, as long as it's not a discriminatory reason. On the flip side we can quit whenever we want though it's traditional to give at least a two weeks notice. Edit 2. The employees at will concept only applies to non-union and others who do not have contracts. What? I didn't know this, this is crazy. How come you hear about so much workplace litigation in America if there's no contract to back the employee up? The McDonald's ice cream machine being broken. Dude we don't get it either. Why pay 500 bucks just to ride the wee woo car? $1,000, fee. Source, rode in one before. I've lived in the US for 30 plus years and I still don't understand the fraternity, sorority system. I was in one and I still don't understand. 1. Where are the street lights in mostly part of the neighborhoods? At least here in SD, have a walk after sunset is risky cause is pretty dark. Two cars passing you in highway by the right line. Three driving with 16 you, voting with 18 you, but not being able to drink until 21 you. Crazy. If cars are passing you on the right it skews your slow. Why pay for the bigger soda cup if there are free refills for the small? McDonald's actually charges the same price for any size, so you might as well get the big one for when you leave. ISPs actually having data caps on wired connections in 2019? It's only in some states, but why does the cap to exist to begin with? We existed without it perfectly fine beforehand, and now we need one? Bullshit. It's just another way for Kimcast to milk more money out of the consumer. Edit, I appreciate all of the replies and upvotes. Unfortunately I cannot reply to everyone. I'll be upvoting the replies that make sense, or amuse me, since I can't reply to all of you. Why are you incapable of building bathroom stalls without a 5 cm gap in it? For everyone asking what 5 cm is, it is roughly 2 inches or 0.166667 feet in your fantastic way of measuring things. I'll be honest, I didn't even realize that other countries didn't have a gap in the stall. I don't know why we do. Sticking stuff into laws that have nothing to do with law itself. You'd have law on traffic safety and somebody would stick in passage, rider I believe they are called, that prohibits abortion without consent f the father. I mean, how can you even stick a clause that has nothing to do with actual topic? It makes your opposition look bad. You can run a campaign ad against them saying they're against the traffic safety law without giving details. Your bathrooms. What idiot thought it was okay to have very small doors with gaps on all sides in every stall? How are you supposed to quietly poop and stink and fart without everyone seeing you? I can understand why you are so afraid of unisex bathrooms. I'm still baffled by it too. Black Friday. 
Every time I see a video about it I cringe. The behavior depicted is always utterly disgusting and so unbelievably primal, over here we have a prolonged period where extreme sales are allowed, and even though there's more shoppers than normal I can't recall people being desperate for a stupid discounted item. Edit. A lot of very decent responses here. Thank you. I'm very happy to see this is completely overblown and that I was wrong for a big portion of it. That being said, it seems like media is a big problem, I should have known. I've been to several Black Fridays in a ton of big stores and I've never seen anything close to what videos show. I also live in the Midwest and people are really antisocial here. I went to Walmart last time and I saw a max of maybe 20 people. <coughs> Lunch debt. Why is that a thing? Why are the children being held accountable and unable graduates? It a goddamn a lunch. I once had a letter sent home because I was $20 in lunch debt. Pretty crazy how that is but whatever. Edit, meant $2 lol. Asian here but, why wear shoes inside your homes? I live in Arizona. Scorpions is why. Why do you pay the taxes yourself? It's way easier to have it done for you by your state, country since you have to pay anyway. Tax companies lobbied the government so that the IRS, department in charge of taxes, cannot do them for us. Edit, tax companies are businesses that sell software that help you to fill out your tax return or offer services to do your taxes for you. Here are some links for you non-Americans. Showing prices before tax like my dudes it looks cheaper but it ain't iggy mangagi. I'm Canadian and when I visited Europe one of my first purchases was like 4.99 and when the cashier scanned it and said that comes to 4.99 I was like surprised Pikachu face wait what? Anything that happens in high school really. Edit, geez I'm getting a lot of replies. I'd like to respond to them all and discuss some more but I don't really have that much time, sorry. If you're going by our films, those are full of exaggerated stereotypes. Real high schools rarely resembled the movies. The lack of paid maternity leave. The thought of having to hand my children to strangers and go back to work weeks after giving birth. Nobody seems enraged about what that must do to babies and mothers. I think a good portion of that is, a lot of people just don't even know that there is an alternative. Until I started talking to people in other countries, paying attention to worldwide information I was not even aware that American paid time off and maternity leave were shit. I was perfectly happy with my employer for providing me two weeks paid vacation, that cannot be taken all at once, because that is significantly better than a lot of small employers like mine offer. So in turn you are grateful to your job for even allowing maternity leave, not getting mad that it is not longer. I'm surprised nobody has mentioned the prison population. Punishment is the mindset of the prison system. The threat of prison time is supposed to stop people from committing crime, and treats it as solely a voluntary choice by someone who intends to harm another or society. The logic therefore means rehabilitation is useless, and harsh consequences have to be used to prevent crime. This reflects the idea of personal responsibility in all areas of life, which is a major tenet of modern American philosophy. The end result is high recidivism of criminal by circumstances, lack of treatment of mentally ill criminals, and continuing support of mandatory minimum sentences as well as execution. School debts. A lot of this had to do with the federal government getting into the student loan business. They will basically give a loan to anyone with a pulse, regardless of what they're majoring in or how long they're going to school for. In turn, colleges raised their tuition costs because they knew that the government would foot the bill. Before the government got involved, college was actually affordable. Drinking at age 21. I mean for real. I live in Austria and the legal drinking age here is 16. You know what's weird to me? Drinking is 21, sex is 18 but joining the military is 17. And I believe some states let you drive at 16. Like. Pick one. 
Why do you only have two political parties in power that alternate each other? Looks nervously in UK. Having to register for voting. What? Why don't you just get a letter at home, stating you only need that letter and an ID, show up here or there on that day and that's it. Because Americans don't have to register their place of residence either, so where does the state send the letter to? The double moral when it comes to sex and sexuality. A lot of us Americans don't understand this situation either. Why does Ross, the largest friend, not simply eat the other friends? It is true what they say, Americans are from Omicron per si 7, Europeans are from Omicron per si 9. Drinking tap water. I'm used to drinking tap water all day, I never buy water since it's the same as tap water. Edit. I was once on vacation in Africa, and that was my first encounter with how tap water is in some other countries. I could never imagine undrinkable tap water in Europe. American here, I grew up on well water. I love water out of the faucet. I don't buy water bottles either. Everyone does seem to have a brighter filter or some sort saw so filter water from their fridge. American here, I have a British friend who didn't understand why most Americans prefer coffee as opposed to tea. I kinda feel England is the oddball though, the top coffee consuming nations are in Europe. Not rioting or demonstrating. I mean I'm French so the bias is big here. Edit, dumb. Thanks for the gold. You don't always see it, but it happens. The Million Man March is a great yearly example. There are definitely protests. But to be effective, it has to make noise. A 200 person protest might be big news on a local news channel, or maybe even a state news channel, but it won't break federal news unless it's a really slow news day. But for millions of people to take part, leave their job for a day or more, and travel to where others are. It's a huge undertaking. And it is debatable if it actually does any good at all. I don't remember the last time anything actually happened because of a protest. To really do it, you have to be disruptive, and that usually means multiple days, which means people are losing their jobs, probably. Can someone in Europe or Germany specifically tell me how David Hasselhoff became so famous there after a so-so run in the States? He had a concert in Germany at the time the wall fell and now Hasselhoff brought down the wall is used as a joke. 50k for a university while average American earns around 40k bucks. Actually it's about 60k is the medium, 40k is lower middle class while 100k plus is considered upper middle class. Why the Kardashians are even close to popular at all. Don't worry, that confuses us Americans also. Why they use other measuring units instead of the international ones. A holdover from the British spreading imperial measurements in their empire days. So really, it's because you all gave them to us.